Hi, after such a great day 5, you expect day 6 to just be filler, but this was actually a lot of fun though, so let's get right into it. Out first is Momokogo, looking for her first win in a tournament, but she has to face the tough high speed champion, Azume. And look at Lacey playing caretaker here. They start off quick, a high speed test of skill, and this is actually the most potential Komomo has shown. If this was an anime, this would be the moment the audience goes, she's starting to believe. Momo is generally awkward in her movements, which is why I like watching her. I want to see her grow and go up the card and face Mayu in a serious match. She just has that vibe of main character in shows that I've seen. I was all in day one. She gets creative with Azume, but the young high speed champion is far too skilled. But Komomo won't give up. A head scissors, then she calls Rey Mysterio and hits a missile. Then they awkwardly fight for the pin into Azumi counters into a submission. Can Momo find the strength to escape? She does, and hits a Mayu-inspired super kick. But Azume is super creative, stomps Momo, and gives her the C4 bomb for the win. Probably Komomo's best performance yet. Azumi with six points now. Momo's anime narration going, ah, oh, just do the bit already. Next is Hanan versus the other Momo. Will Hanan be a Hanan in this match? That is the question, to Hanan or not Hanan. Boss Momo takes control right away from the future of stardom champion, delivering hard kicks. Hanan tries, but Momo denies. Hanan tries again, but Samomo Joe denies again. So Hanan tries a different submission for once, targeting the arm. All right, Hanan, I see you. But Momo sees her too and kicks the Sheeta out of her, driving her peach on the young one. I know I've been Hananing Hanan, but Hanan does sell well. And Momo has just been kicking the hell out of Hanan, going through her entire move list, going for the peach drop. But Hanan reverses, and instead of going for her leg lock, she tries pins. Nice subversion, Hanan, but it doesn't matter. Boss Momo is out for blood and kills Hanan for four points. Hanan didn't go for that Hanan once. She's learning. <clears throat> Holy Sheeta! We have the ultimate Dark Souls boss versus the final boss. The most epic fight is about to. Oh, hi, Emeka. And to demonstrate the entire match, I present Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Shuri with 6 points. Next is a super cool chick, Azuki, who hasn't lost yet, versus the sexy spider, Mina Shirakawa! You gorgeous girl, you! They start off as equals, until Hazuki dropkicks Mina's prized possessions. Hazuki in total control of Mina, so much she starts to taunt Mina as beneath her, pissing her off and forcing her to fight hard. She eats the strikes and starts getting angry. Yeah, Mina, get angry! Turning into strong style Mina, and until Hazuki starts hitting her moves and forcing Mina to dig deep into her fighting spirit. The spider even flies outside. If Mina can beat the unbeaten Hazuki, she will prove her worth in the ring. But she enters into a slugfest against her and wins the exchange, eating a boot and delivering an enziguri back. Mina can do it. She can win this. She hits the elevated DDT and goes for her glorious driver. But Hazuki refuses to lose to the hot one and lands her senton on her boobas. But Mina kicks out. Yeah, girl. She hits the sexy thes press. But Hazuki doesn't like that. Hits her Mitsunoku driver and her brain buster for the win. Homegirl Hazuki with 8 friggin' points. She's in the lead and is kicking major ass. It's the fairy versus the phoenix. One has faced the grim reaper. The other, an angel of divine cuteness. They start off with a display of their dexterity. Saya's little flip is countered and not sleeps outside, but hits Unagi instead. So Saya tries to dive, but not Natsu, not on my watch, and dives on her instead. This must have pissed her off as she starts going after the phoenix's face over and over. Saya has enough, sends her outside and dives on her. Then things break down, beating each other and screaming like primal animals. Then Nuts gets pissed, oh, smacks her hard and gives her a big old kick to the face. Nuts attempts her ferial gift far too soon though and is gifted with knees instead. 
things on equal ground. And Susaya double stomps the crap out of her and gains control, utilizing her mid-range moves to weaken the fairy further. But Nats avoids the Star Crusher and suplexes the shit out of Saya. Then comes the kicks, and there's the war! Powered up fairy mode! Nats tries to end it, trying her pinning combo, but the Phoenix is far too strong and plants her down. Saya has one course to go. Star Crusher into the drop zone, and she hits her perfect 450 for the win. Six points to the champion. Very nice job. This is an exact representation of her talents. Micah is finally wrestling again in her second match versus main event Saki Kashima. You go, girl. She used to have the best theme in stardom, but I still like this version a lot, too. And, and, and you know what? Can I start being officially a weeb for Kashima? No, I'm kidding, Tam. I'm sorry. I repent. I repent. I repent. Micah shushes everyone and starts celebrating for Saki Kashima, for this is her hometown. The ever impressionable Micah goes all in on the bit, and Kashima goes along with it. And of course she trolls, and oh my god, she's chasing after her! <laughs> oh, okay, she's like a really mean little bully picking on the bigger nerd in school. Then she throws her inside, which is something Japanese crowds clap to, but trolls them and is like, nah, let's beat her ass out here. And White Shoes is like trying to scold her, but Saki is like, but look over there! And White Shoes is like, stop it already, you little demon! And Saki tries to play innocent, but the old ref is like, don't you play with me, girl! And starts loudly counting like an annoyed grandpa. So Saki starts choking Micah, and they're arguing again, Grandpa Ref being so grandfatherly. <laughs> Saki just vibing. I love her. But the impressionable Micah remembers she's not actually small and starts using her power. Yeah, Micah remembers fully she's the strong girl. Suplex that little minion. Now she's gonna put her to sleep. And then the cutest fucking thing happens. Grandfather White Shoes checks on the condition of the frail Saki and could easily call the match, as she's basically dead. But instead, he smacks her hand and he yells at her like he's trying to get her up for school, and Saki wakes up and gives him this look. But then she fights out of it and kicks the shit out of Micah. You go, girl! War! Yeah! But Micah superplexes the Kashima out of her. But no! Lion spirited emblem of fire and passion, Saki Kashima, the master of a thousand pins, out for blood, but is lariated to hell. But she kicks out because she stole the devil's heart. So Micah lands her hard, but Kashima is wise. She knows where the ropes are, but she's dead. She's totally dead. And Micah lifts up her ragged body. But you know exactly what she's gonna do. She hits the Kishikase, and she wins! Woo! Yeah, she wins! Woo! Yeah! That's my girl! Woo! Yeah! Kashima wins in her hometown, too! What a beautiful performance! And I'm being serious. This is an example of everything Saki can do as this character. Great end to what was supposed to be just filler. They end the show discussing what to eat, and now I want some soba. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thanks, everyone. Bye.